What's up everybody, welcome back to Bullshot Darts. In this one I'm gonna go over what I keep in my dart case and in my dart bag. I always bring a bag to dart tournaments. Uh, when I first started playing darts, I was known as the kid with the backpack because people didn't know my name yet. Uh, I think it's very important to have a bag because uh, you can hold a lot of stuff in it. Uh, so I'll be going over that in a second, but if you're new and you love darts, please make sure to follow Bullshot Darts on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. All right guys, so first things first, I think it's important to bring a bag to darts because I've heard of a lot of people that get stuff stolen at dart tournaments. You know, whether it be phone, wallet, keys, uh, darts always end up missing. And if you have a bag to keep that all in, you can keep your bag with you at times. You know, you shouldn't be leaving your phone on a random table at the bar uh, or anything else of your personal belongings just out in the open. So that is the first thing I keep in my bag always is my phone, wallet, and keys. I do not like throwing darts with stuff in my pockets, uh, especially a phone. If it starts going off while you're throwing, it's just going to throw you off. So I think everyone should shoot darts without anything in their pockets. Uh, the next couple things I keep in here, uh, these are for if we're drinking, if we're at the bar drinking. Usually everyone's going to be drinking the same looking stuff. I've had my beer stolen from me on accident sometimes, and I've accidentally stolen other people's. Uh, so to make sure that you do not, I always keep a koozie and a this little thing with me. It's a little Superman. <laughs> uh, if we're drinking out of cans, I'll put this on my can. If it's a bottle or a cup, I will put this on that. That way everyone knows which is mine so they do not take it or drink out of it. Uh, another thing I keep on my bag or in my bag always at dart tournaments is my iPad, which I'm recording on so I can't show you. And now I always keep a... Uh, dart connect bracket with me i got caught in a really just kind of a situation that sucked at a big dart tournament i had not chalked my own dart match in so long and when i say chalk i mean like actually having the physical chalk and scoring my score and all that stuff uh you know we're spoiled now with dart connect so that's how i've been doing all of my scoring and i was at a big dart tournament and we did not have a chalker and we did not have a tablet uh, so now after every time I threw, I had to chalk my own score, which, you know, I should be able to get over that, but it was the first time I've done it in a long time, and I could not get in a rhythm. I just couldn't get in a rhythm. Uh, someone actually came and started chalking for us during the match, and then my dart started falling, but at that, by that time, it was too late. No excuses, but now that I keep my tablet with me and my bracket, I will never chalk another match ever again. <laughs> uh, well, chalk my own match, I should say. I love chalking matches. Uh, another thing, I have it wrapped up in a piece of tin foil, but it's a sharpening stone. Uh, you know, sometimes the dart tips are going to get a little dull, and you need to make sure they stay sharp. So I always keep that on me too. Last thing I keep in my bag, it's going to sound weird, but I keep caffeine pills with me. Uh, if you're at an all-day dart tournament, you're going to get tired. Uh, caffeine, I know... I'm not taking a whole caffeine pill because now I'm going to get the jitters. So I'll break it up into small pieces just so I could have a little bit, just something to give me a little boost. It's going to give me energy, but it's also going to give me confidence. I uh, talk about a lot. Having confidence in darts is extremely important. So that gives me energy and that gives me confidence uh, moving forward with the tournament. I only really use those if it's a tournament that's running really late or if it's an all day tournament because, you know, Darts isn't the most physical sport, but when you're on your feet shooting darts all day, it can get pretty exhausting. So now onto my dart case. Uh, I got my CEC sticker up here. I keep that on there so every time I take my dart case out, I can see it and I'm reminded why I shoot darts and where I want to be. I want to be a top player in the CEC, so that's just a little reminder for me every time I get my darts out. Also got my bull shot stickers there. So first things first, of course, I have my main set of darts. Uh, these are the Rob Cross pixels. Um, I don't know if they go by another name. That's all I have. They're 25 grams. I was shooting soft tip darts for the longest time and I said I need heavier darts. So I went from 18 to 25 and it was the best switch I ever made. Uh, and these darts are awesome. Now I also keep my soft tip darts in here. Uh, I have my steel points in there now, but they're, you know, I, they're, those are conversion tips. I have a bunch of soft tips in there too. I always keep a second set of darts with me. Uh, well, one, of course, they're soft tips, so if it happens that there's some soft tip darts, I can shoot that too. But also, like I said, I have my conversion tips, so if someone doesn't have darts, if someone needs to borrow some darts, I got an extra set for them. Or if I'm bringing a friend with me and they need a set of darts, I'm always ready. 
I used to just carry a little dart purse with me that just held one set of darts. And I got, there's just a lot of situations where, where I was just like, man, I really wish I had another set of darts. So that's why I got my new case and now I always keep them with me. And some other stuff in here, just pretty basic stuff. I got replacement flights for both sets of darts. Uh, I keep extra plastic tips with me for the plastic tip darts. Uh, I also keep shafts on me. Uh, there's no worse thing to happen if, you, if a shaft breaks during a match. Uh, you know, because now you gotta sit there and take some time to fix it. And if you don't have any extra shafts, well now you're in trouble. Uh, and I also just keep some extra small stuff in there. Uh, like these little, where are they? These little rubber things, these go in between the shaft and the barrel to make sure it's a nice secure fit. All right guys, so that is what I keep on me when I, whenever I go play darts and it always all fits in my bag and my bag stays with me everywhere I go. If I go to the bathroom, my bag's coming with me. If I just go up to the bar to get a drink, my bag is coming with me. Uh, all right guys, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Share down below what you keep in your dart bag and I'll see you guys in the next one. Shoot well.